So Alan Richardson is back in the news again. A lot of this is coming from this article right here, the highs and the high highs and low lows of Alan Richardson that he did with the Hollywood Reporter. And there's a lot in here. But the biggest thing that a lot of people talked about were his comments on the former president. And people really didn't take that very well because, for one, the majority of the people watching his show probably support Trump. And that's just not something that is a good idea. Like, why would you do that? Especially when this is kind of your ticket to the top. I don't think I ever really even knew who he was before Reacher. Now, I've been told that he has a long history of being an ass. And I'm going to tell you, I believe it. He comes off as an ass. Never really heard him talk until recently because, of course, he has a hit show, so now he's getting interviews, and he decides to go in there and pretty much attack his fan base. At least that's what it looks like to me and a lot of other people. And, yeah, it's true. He's been saying this stuff for a long time. But you, you would think when you finally get to the top and you have something big, that you would maybe want to keep it going? I don't know. That seems like something that you might want to try and do, maybe keep that audience. But he's like, nah, they go ahead and just piss most of them off. I'm looking at his IMDb because, honestly, until Reacher, I don't think I knew who he was. And I'm looking at his stuff here. I haven't seen a lot of this other than, some Smallville. I just wasn't a big Smallville fan. So, you know, if, if you were if you were into that show, you might know who he is. Uh, he was on Blue Mountain State. I didn't watch that show, but I know a lot of people did. So that's where I think some people know who he, who he was because I know a lot of people like that show. Hunger Games Catching Fire. Uh, he was in the Michael Bay TMNT movies, which everybody hates. I don't even remember who, who, oh, he was Raphael. So he was in a, he was a voice actor in that. So other than, okay, Fast X, he was in Fast X as well. Okay. So honestly, what does he have? He has Reacher, Fast X, and the Hunger Games. Oh, it looks like he's in this, uh, ungentlemanly warfare movie. That movie actually looks pretty good. But that movie's not out yet. So, Reacher is what really pushed him to the top. Reacher has made him an, somewhat of an A-lister now because that show is one of the highest rated shows out there. So, it just seems kind of counterproductive to me to come out and do the things he's doing. And he did it again the other day when he decided to go after law enforcement and talk about Brianna Taylor, which, in his defense, I will say, got brought up recently in an interview where they asked him about it. They asked him about it in the THR interview where he talked about police. And, you know, there are some conversations to be had there, for sure. But uh, here's what he had to say. Uh, we should completely reform the way that we do it. I mean, you shouldn't have to spend more time getting an education as a hairstylist than as a cop who's armed with a deadly weapon. We should make it very hard for people to make mistakes or abuse power in our institutions. So, I don't necessarily disagree with some of this. I don't think it needs complete reform. I think it needs better training. Uh, but to be honest the majority of police do a decent job. There's some bad apples like there is in everything. And to say, <laughs> to use this example is not the best one because from what I remember, the boyfriend was shooting at police, was shooting at them. I mean, what are they supposed to do? Sit there and get shot? I don't see this as a good example. 
I like this. Nice lie on your shirt. Try researching facts. This is from 2020, just to point it out. But he talked about it again when he was asked about it by THR, which he, of course, jumped in. Oh, no, there was more than just this. He said, that was a tragic case, adding cops get away with murder all the time, which is not true. Uh, when they returned fire, I mean, you had a guy that was hit by that shot that her boyfriend did. Uh, so what are they supposed to do? Just get shot? This is what I've never understood about that. People shoot at them and try to stab them, and they respond, but they're the ones in trouble. It just seems kind of stupid to me. Maybe you disagree with that, but uh, that's just my opinion. He's sharing his, too. Uh, it's just not something that's probably, it's probably not the right move to do when that's the majority of your audience. And it's not really, <laughs> it's not like this is an unsafe opinion either. This is like pretty much the majority of Hollywood spewing this bullshit. And the National Fraternal Order of Police responded to him. While Mr. Richson gets his face and forehead powdered on set, our officers are out doing a job he doesn't have the courage to do. Why he gets to hear loud pops and have blanks fired at him, our officers feel the heat of the bullets as they pierce their skin. There are no take twos or take threes in real life, Mr. Richson. We have people who want to kill us and we play for keeps. Just another useless Hollywood actor virtue signaling for attention at the expense of brave police officers around this country. Go back to your pampered life and let the heroes handle this. And this is a screenshot of uh, the... Another article that covered this. I, I don't. I, I saw this. This looks like it's probably Breitbart by the font. And he responded and said, uh, this kind of emotionally immature response is the epitome of what concerns me about law enforcement today, wrote the actor as he proceeded to declare, if this is how the leadership handles a peaceful disagreement, what does life look like for those unseen interactions on the street? Now, let's address this, number one. So this guy has a lot of influence now and a lot of attention on him. And all he's out there doing is being another person spreading hate on police, which is really at a bad place right now because they're getting, they're getting attacked all the time. Uh, I think just the other week in my state, uh, some were taken out and you hear about it quite a bit of, Officers getting attacked and pushed, and it's stuff coming from people like him that push it. I mean, you're, you're calling them murderers, and you're saying that you had a peaceful disagreement? I mean, come on, man. That's not, that's not how you phrase it. <laughs> you're sharing shit to a lot of people, and it's just feeding the hate towards them. So he had a big, long response to what they did. It was over on his Instagram right here. Um, I just think all this is unnecessary and he's kind of shooting himself, to be honest, because a lot of the people that watch this show are probably police supporters and Trump supporters. And, you know, a lot of them, and I saw it in the comments on the previous video I made, probably aren't going to tune into season three. And I don't blame you if you still watch the show because it's a good show and it is a good show. We don't get a lot of good entertainment anymore. But I just think he's kind of just being an ass. And he has a history of being an ass. But uh, he doesn't like to be called out. That's for sure. He responded saying, uh, why would people stop watching my show? I'm just sharing my opinions. Like, well, it's the same opinion that everybody watching your show has heard for years from Hollywood. And a lot of these people have probably tuned out from a lot of entertainment. And they were watching your show. And now you've kind of upset them. So... You know, guys, guys got a ticket to stardom now. And he's trying to play Batman. And I think what I, what I always like to do when celebrities do this, I always like to call it what it is to me, a job application. And I think one of the big reasons why he's out here running his mouth like he is, spewing a lot of woke Hollywood points, is because he's trying to get his name in that hat for the Batman role on James Gunn's upcoming 
what's he calling it? The brave and the bold. I just, that's what I think is going on here. So, I mean, he would make a good Batman, to be honest. He's got the face for it. But, you know, at what cost? Your new fan base that you're cultivating from your show probably isn't going to help you there. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.